Tonight, the Humane Society of Indianapolis is responding to criticism after the shelter took in 35 dogs from an overcrowded Texas shelter. Well, people here are asking why they made that choice when the city shelter is at full capacity. Our TV 6's Nicole Griffin is working for you to get answers. Since last Thursday, more than 260 animals have been brought here to Indianapolis Animal Care Services. And that's why many people here locally are upset that Indy Humane is not helping out the city shelter even more. I'm hoping to give it a happy home, a second chance at life, and just some happiness and love. Tiffany Williams is waiting for a meet and greet with a dog that she hopes to adopt from Indianapolis Animal Care Services. I saw a Facebook video of all of the animals in the shelter and there was one at the very last bit that had his head down and was bawling its eyes out and I couldn't stand it. I had to come up here. The dog is just one of nearly 200 others waiting for people like her to walk in the door. So it's really hard for our staff. Um, we were empty just a few days ago of adoptable animals and now we're overrun already. In order to not euthanize animals for time or space, IACS hopes people will come in and adopt. Knowing that challenge, that is why people are upset that Indy Humane, a private shelter, is bringing in dogs from Texas. I think that the timing of this with uh, an announcement from IACS where they're particularly in a critical situation is probably unfortunate because it shines the light on this a little bit differently. Indy Humane CEO says so far in 2018, the organization has brought in 900 animals. Nearly 400 have been from IACS. Any animal's life is worth saving, so we respect that. We do wish that they would uh, focus their efforts solely on animals in central Indiana. IACS says overcrowding is currently being caused by a number of issues, including more kitten litters, the heat, and fireworks causing dogs to run away. Nicole Griffin, RTV6.